Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome back. So today we're talking <clears throat> uh, Yankee Candle Spring 2023 returning favorites. Um, so I have a few of them here. I'm going to go over the whole list. Um, I usually don't do a video on the returning favorites because typically, historically, in the past like three or four years, um, they've just been the same ones year after year with little to no effort. Um, including the 50th anniversary, um, a little to no effort there as well. Um, so here we have three, but uh, and they are back in the full-size labels this year for the returning favorites. There's like 10 or 12, I forget how many here, maybe 10 official returning favorites that get the full-size label here. Um, there are a bunch of other returning ones that get the standard label here, None of these are available in Signature Jar, which is a huge bummer um, because the Signature does perform so well, um, but they are keeping the classic jars around. Now, um, one of these candles is actually available in Signature over in the UK because it's year-round fragrance in the UK. Okay, so the returning favorites with the full-size label, I'm going to have Soft Blanket, which has been on and off. Uh, Belgian Waffles, remember that came back, that was out in the um, Sunday Morning Brunch collection a few years ago. That and Floral Candy were the standout fragrances for me in that collection, so Belgian Waffles is great. Um, cotton Candy, a lot of people have been wanting this to come back. It's been back in the outlets in the springtime, usually hit and miss over the past few years. Uh, Cherry Lemonade, that's been back every year since the 50th anniversary. Vineyard, another one's kind of been back. Blueberry, um, it's just a standard blueberry. It's not the New England blueberry. That was kind of like the same thing. I don't like Yankees blueberry. I think it's um, fake and cloying, and it's just not um, a good one for me. Uh, Ocean Star, that's been back for the first time in a few years. Fresh Mint, that one's just out for a while. And Lucky Shamrock, that's been coming back for the past few years. So um, Fresh Mint, Lucky Shamrock, Vineyard, Blueberry are available in scent plugs as well. So if you don't want to burn the candle, you could always get the scent plug for that. Now there are some other ones that are coming out in just the standard label here. And that's Emerald Isle. Huge disappointment that it's not in signature. I would thought it would have been since Halloween was in signature. Um, and I think Easter is going to be in signature. So kind of bum that St. Patrick's Day, Emerald Isle is not in signature. Um, buttercream, it's nothing like the original. French Vanilla, nothing, like, nothing like the original. Beechwood, eh. Golden Sands, I know a lot of people like that. Uh, Summer Storm, that's a good one. That's a good one there. Strawberry Lemon Ice, that's, you know, there. Line Dried Cotton, um, Lavender Vanilla. The, a lot of these have typically been like online throughout the year, um, but now they're in stores. Um, flowers in the sun, that's a good one too. Summer Scoop, um, that one's actually pretty strong this year on cold. Red Raspberry, eh. Sweet Strawberry, um, that's a, that's a good one. Honey Lavender Gelato, mm. um, Garden Sweet Pea, that's a pretty good one. Enchanted Garden, that's basically, um, that's with the gnome label on, it's pretty neat. I don't know what is on there, but, and of course, April Showers, which I was never a fan of until now so let's get into it here so april showers this one i ordered online um, i'm using a ring light this time to see if it helps with any of the clarity and whatnot so who knows it's damn bright in my eyes um so i never really liked this fragrance before and all the jars that i've seen have had sort of like the oil separation it's really hard to tell but it's there um this is a 22 pour so the reason why I got this one is because someone had mentioned that it seemed a little toned down and different from years past in one of the Facebook groups. So I went out and I ordered it online um, and I have to agree with them. So um, the notes of this are, it's a little basic, lemon zest, lemon leaf, melon, and vanilla. And it is kind of like a Tide laundry detergent, fresh scent, um, not quite like laundry day. This is more like the Tide 
rain is there like a tide rain sign i think there is something like that rain shower fresh rainfall or whatever um but it is a very nice it's not like a zesty lemon even though it says lemon zest in here it's a watery aquatic lemon if that makes sense so i'll be very curious to see how this burns it is in that nice you know easter grass green with the lemon on the label um it's pretty strong and cold we'll go from there so next we have up here is soft blanket i've always liked this fragrance um the dates on these are all wrong again by the way they always say like 2010 you know um completely wrong but yeah so this um has been out god online exclusive for a while um a few years ago you could find this a diamond dozen in a two wick paraffin tumbler at um tj maxx home goods i think i have a few of those but with the white wax and when the oil separates they get dirty um kind of like a reddish brown it just isn't pleasant at all when the oil separates so this is a very nice um calming soothing fragrance um close to calm and quiet place co close to um, warm cashmere uh the uk version then there's warm luxe cashmere the u.s version um and they also have a few other nice ones over there in the uk but um i love the label in here it's just a classic label classic yankee candle label and it's just a very powdery fragrance um very powdery lightweight calm and soothing fragrance now the notes in this are a little interesting to me because it reads uh bergamot citrus and blackberry as the top notes i'm not getting that but the mid notes is kind of where i'm where i'm getting it is the the cashmere vanilla and the powdery rose no tobacco flower i'm not getting that and then the base is amber cocoa and musk um how they got all those to make this i don't know but bottom line is i do like this now i haven't burned any of these yet obviously i just got them the other day in store um they were online for a hot minute yesterday for like a few hours then today which is today is tuesday they were gone so um i know a lot of people ordered them because i posted on my instagram hey they're there go get them if you want them but then they were gone and they're still gone today but um We'll see. See when they come back online. Yankees are weird. Now, the next one here is a lot of people have been wanting this for a while. And that is cotton candy. Their cotton candy, in my opinion, is the best cotton candy. The Kringle cotton candy smell like Kringle cotton candy clouds. Smells a little bit too much like blue raspberry to me. The Goose Creek one is like blue raspberry. Um, and there's another one. This one just gives me like, and to that 2010, by the way. Uh, wrong date. It's like 2015, but they don't care. Um, this to me smells like that spun sugar, right? The the very sweet kind of like vanilla um, sugar. Not pink, not blue raspberry at all. I mean, nice label on there, classic. Make again the label as well. Nice pink colored wax. Some, yeah. So this is the first time I think that we actually get full scent notes from this um, because when this initially came out, Yankee wasn't giving full scent notes. Uh, they were only giving like descriptions of it. So uh, what they posted was ozone, fresh apple as your top notes, then granulated sugar and candy floss as your mid, and then the base was vanilla and rock sugar crystals, which makes sense. Yeah, if you want a sweet... Like you're just eating a um, hand-whipped uh, cotton candy from the fair or the, the boardwalk or whatnot. This will be it. Now, as far as strength goes, I don't know. I have an old one. I never burned it. I got a new one here to burn. So, it's a very pretty label there. So, like I said, these are in your stores now. They should be. They should be in your stores. Um, and then they were online. Don't know if they're going to come back online. They should. That is a glitch, but whatever. Um, okay, so that's what I have for you for the uh, spring returning favorites. What are your thoughts? What do you guys think of the, the spring returning favorites? Do you think they're good this year based off the list? Um, you pick any up? You gonna pick any up? Curious, curious to hear your thoughts. So, 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. I'll stay safe out there.